Magvani and it seems Rulian and welcome back to another Infinity Wars video. It's been a while since I last did one of these. Uh so apologies. But uh alright, I'm gonna be a little rusty, so I apologize for that. Um but alright, I'm playing Arita Mistress of Shadow, uh Nero Crep Delver and Concordant Is it? Hold on, Concordant Collective, there you go deck uh fighting against a divine trickster a tempest champion of patience and hinnacree growing board deck so that's a single cov single sleepers single dod fighting against a double overseer of solace and single exiles all right first turn i created a token with a uh, retail mrs of shadow and they attack with the divine trickster which is an effect which is annoying but what it does is it hits the forges it uh, increases the cost of the next of the top card in my deck so uh yeah that's it <laughs> that's what they call them divine trickster that too that's uh real annoying all right so i activated concordant Collective's ability, which poisons everyone by one. Alright, I took seven more damage. Alright, because I have Nero Cryptelver in my command zone, the uh and uh because the Rita Scar token died to my own poison, I uh uh, Nero's passive ability created a Risen, Risen of Avarak in my graveyard, which will uh, come to my deployed zone after three turns. Alright, I cast Lightning Blast on Tempus, which will die to it. I think, yeah, unless, you know, it, would have, it wouldn't have died to it if they deployed, like, uh, two more angels or something. Uh, Alright, they deployed the... Uh, crap, I forgot what that's called. <laughs> Hold up. Actually... Oh, wait, no. It's, yeah. See, so, it, it... Yeah, they deployed one angel. They didn't, they didn't need to deploy two more angels for it. For Tempest to survive the lightning blast. Alright, I created another token. I take another hit from the Defined Trickster, which is... Once, once again, it, it's gonna be annoying. Oh, yeah, it's already dead. It died to the poison from the Concordant Collective. Yeah, okay. Got Death Ray this turn, and uh, now I'm playing Spirit Armor on. on Nero. Yeah. Because uh, I need I need her to not die. <clears throat> or I need her to gain more health. I also um, ha uh, had her consume or not consume but sacrifice the reader's card so that she gains stats heard in another token with Buddha mistress of shadow and cast the spirit armor on Nero. all right oh that's annoying <laughs> the uh, opponent attacked with the hindukri going board and the denouncer of heaven i think if i remember right but, uh, yeah, okay. I drew the madness that got created at the top of my deck by Hinnikri going board. I attacked with the Reason of Avarak, which, uh, um, raced itself from my graveyard to my support zone. Oh. And <laughs> my opponent uses Harbinger of, uh, Light. Is it? Harbinger of Law, rather. Uh, deploys it and uh, targets the Risen of Avarak with the exhaust ability it has. Okay, created more tokens and uh, use Nero's ability, use the Concordant uh, Collective's ability as well to, you know, keep poisoning, to keep making tokens or Risen of Avaraks, as you can see. It's a bit of uh outdated by the way because they updated uh one one of these commanders <laughs> recently and so uh, i've yet to 
test this deck again. And so this is a little outdated. Alright, I play Death Ray on the Harbinger of Law. Because it's got the most stealth, and the other two will die soon to the poison anyway, so. Alright, that works out. Kind of waste. That kind of wasted their uh, answer. Uh, answer the call, or, or I forgot the name. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, okay, so. This was the plan. I haven't been paying attention to my hand much too, so. Alright, so the plan was to defend with Nero, Cryptelver, with a Lance of Jinhai, which gives her reach, and uh, defend against the attacking enemy. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, enemy plays counter spell, which they probably didn't expect the Lance of Jinhai, but the. Uh, because I played Death Ray in the previous turn, I probably expected something like that. Thankfully, I have another Lance of Jinhai in my hand. Alright, I attack with my Risen of Abrax, doing 12 damage to their fortress. I took 14. Okay. Oh, I drew, I draw Madness. Which, uh, I traded that away on, uh, in one of my, from, in one of my previous turns. Okay, so I'm defending with the Concordant Collective this turn. Um, and uh, casting Lance of Jinai on it. I think I was worried about because they have uh, have two overseers of solace. I was worried about um, evict or something. But then again, Nero wasn't going to be safe from uh, displacement. I think is what that card is called. So like, whatever I suppose. But uh, I wanted to be less pred predictable, I guess. I also had uh, deployed uh, the uh... thing. I'm really forgetting all the card names. Opponent deploys a Luca Ascended, which buffs all their angel characters. Opponent also deployed a Zealous Protector, uh, which uh, has vigilance, and so it goes it goes straight from their hand to their defense zone, which is going to be unfortunate for my attacking. Risen of Avarax here. Created a token and uh, I also had created another another Risen of Avarax in my uh, graveyard. But also, yeah, I didn't answer of heaven. The effect they have is when it dies, increase the cost of the top card of your opponent's deck by three. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, both this and uh, the Defiant Trickster card is uh, our quite annoying all right all three of these die they don't have enough okay mm -hmm. okay what do i do this turn i deploy agent coil symbiote symbiote sim i'm trying to <laughs> is it just symbiote do you say symbiote or symbiote? Crap damn, I'm confusing my self right now. Alright, I created another Rita Scar token. I target the Luca with the Death Ray. Because it has more health and the, the Luca is poisoned already anyway. Opponent targets Nero with the Vict apparently. Yeah, I'm down to 17 health, which is problematic. Got another reason of Abrac there. Alright, I play in best, I think. Because I really need to. I really need to conserve what little health I have, so I just played the infest on the lighter area. It uh plays successfully and so it creates a risen of Abarak in the uh, in my graveyard. Okay, now I'm right I'm racing the rising. I'm racing the concordant collective with Agent Core Symbiote's ability. There you go, the uh <laughs> Risen of Avarax. Many Risen of Avarax have returned to my hand. Wait, hold up. I lost something. Did I lose? No, I didn't lose something. Did I lose something? What happened there? Oh, never mind. I thought I traded away my... I didn't have the resources for it, so... I don't know. Um, that wouldn't have been possible, but I thought I traded away my... Rift to the Old World, because it's been useless in my hand. <laughs> but the... 
I wanted I wanted to have these just in case, you know. Vandalize and through the old world just in case I have the or the opponent has a location or a, an artifact that I need to deal with. Ooh, okay. Opponent deploys a corrupted celestial dragon. It's gonna increase the cost of the cards in my hand. Okay, I attack with uh, all of my deployed characters here. And uh, my opponent is now down to 19 plus. That works. Okay, so I honestly don't remember what I did in this turn. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I luckily drew a Jalen. Apologies about the noises in the background, by the way. I drew, I, I traded away a card and uh, drew a Jalen. Drew a Jialin So that if my opponent attacks, I won't lose all the health. So yeah, there you go. And then I proceeded continue to attack with. Thankfully, it doesn't have consume because if it had. Then, and if it, uh, if my opponent defended with the dragon, um, attacking wouldn't have been possible and I wouldn't have won this turn, which I assume is what happens. I haven't rewatched this, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> I don't need to, but I feel like I, sometimes, you know, that disclaimer is needed. I haven't rewatched this, this uh, video um, recording of the match. Of this match from April 11. All right, so I won barely. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed that match. Uh, see you next time. I uh, I still have a number of these, um, a number of these matches, recorded matches, unedited, and. Um, it, it's just it's just been busy i guess <laughs> and so i haven't been able to record these post gameplay commentaries and edit the videos um but yeah i'll, I'll try to um get through my backlog of videos and whatnot but yeah, all right see you next time and until then farewell